بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم بارك الله فيكم جزاك الله خير um, again for those who know um, what I do and who I am I've never really got into to refutation wars I saw now uh, you know Yasser Qadi posting and you know it's like yeah like don't mention names and this and that but see it's like oversimplifying things because these are the people who taught us in our young years who told us to stick to the haq and to the truth uh, yeah of course they can just dismiss you as a lay person and whatnot and what yeah it's okay fine this we're not we're not claiming to be scholars are they claiming to be scholars i mean that's a question that it's valid right but see that's the thing with the today's society though people don't like to get out of comfort they just want to do their thing and that's it no one can challenge you no one can tell you that you're wrong no one can say you know attack concepts okay i attack the concept i didn't attack a person um if you look through my videos that's not my way i challenge everyone to look through my videos and see how many so-called refutations have i done okay and i've been around for many years if i sought to be to raise to fame to get followers because yes indeed these kind of refutations like man the accounts are increasing everyone's watching and posting and sporting and this and that i would have done a long time ago like my youtube channel is like 14 years now i would have done a long time ago that's not what i'm all about but this issue that came up was an important issue and i'm talking inshallah to mufti man alhamdulillah we're on whatsapp and we got we're getting on a call i couldn't take his call last night we're talking talking to people okay trying to get to an issue not just like yeah let's just make peace no we have an objective i appreciate the fact that mufti mang messaged me and i'm messaging him back and there's respect okay we're gonna talk like men as he said i i like that i like that that's all good i did not hate on anyone but certain things i do not agree and i stand my ground and you know what yeah, I'll mention, you know, Sheikh uh, Yasser Qadi because he posted his last post about, you know, the knitting wars and just dismissing. Yeah, he's not naming anyone, but he's been smashing the Salafi <laughs> uh, movement for the longest time now in the past few years. So look at the contradiction. Neo-Salafis, Neo-this, neo they're always smashing the Salafi movement. But when someone says anything, oh, he's, no, no, he's, uh, he didn't mention anyone, right? Supposedly. Oh, yeah, but he smashed all of them. These are irrational claims, brothers and sisters. What I'm trying to say is these guys were our teachers, okay? And they've changed. And that's just the reality. And maybe we're going to change. And it's your duty to put us in our place. As Omar Khattab said when he took over, right? If you see something that I do, you need to put me back in my place. So, I don't know. I mean, it's very easy to dismiss someone. Oh, it's hatred. Just move on. If you don't like the sheikh, just move to the other one. That's the approach that sadly some of these brothers are taking today that you, you think that islam is about like tiktok if you don't like someone swipe 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 just swipe to the next guy it's like a, what 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 tiktok right is this what islam has become with all the respect i know yasir qadi i'm not his best friend but we've met before we've had lunch together we've sat down we've talked i drove him around we've had dinner he was my teacher Okay, and I learned a lot from actually where I am today it was a lot to do with Yasir Qadi 17 years ago 17 or 16 years ago okay when you teach those Aqidah courses and I'm thankful to that Yasir Qadi back in those days as to the new one may Allah guide him I don't agree with him 100% he can come and smash and this the reality is brothers and sisters it's not about me or him or attacking it's very easy for someone to just dismiss this by saying he's attacking this he's attacking that he's attacking this bro I don't but right now the world is getting worse okay the comments of some of these things LGBT and flip-flopping about when you asked about these things because it's affecting our families and we learned from them to stand our ground back 17 years ago they're not standing the ground out there they're just pay attention let's summarize okay he's saying just move to the next sheikh if you don't like it flip to the next one because that's what he's preaching right now it doesn't matter whether who's right wrong whether there's evidence this that it's easy to just use a quote of imam shafi or this or that but they don't know that they the scholars themselves wrote books and refutations 
of scholars. Yes, I know that the heart will hearten if you just argue and fight and this and that. But when we look at the Sahaba and the scholars, uh, the, the issues of tasheeh and fixing and uh, writing books with uh, um, footnotes, explaining, correcting. Yes, there's a certain way of adab. Where have I gone wrong in the adab? Have I swore at someone just because I'm passionate when I speak? That is something that is wrong. Well, the Prophet ﷺ was very passionate. Then you would have a problem with Omar Khattab and how passionate he was. Where, where is this coming from? This like, oh, should be adab. Yes, I agree 100%. Show me where I didn't have adab. Why? Because you consider me a lay person? Okay. Uh, and who are you? Come on, guys. Like, let's relax. This is like, yeah, okay, you didn't name me, but you know exactly who you're talking about, who the issue is about. It's like passive aggressive. Brother, may Allah bless you, and you know the hearts will get hard, and this is not good adab. And all the people are saying, oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. You know, this brother is messed up. You know, why is he talking? Why is he targeting these people? Brothers, we are compromising our deen. Sisters, you're compromising your deen. This is not about a battle. This is something that's a battle that's on the ground. Okay, by many other enemies and the fact that our brothers need to stand up a bit more. That's it. They taught us to stand up. Uqsim Billah. Studying with Yasuqat, Omar Suleiman, um, many of the others. Okay, I'm naming them because I benefited from them. Even from the things that Mufti Mang posted. So many. I used to listen to the, to the Sira and the Sahaba stories. I still have the CD in my car. CD. You understand? There's, there's no... I would never give up what I learned there from them at that time. 15, 16 years ago. Even 12 years ago. But then about at a mark of 10 years, something happened. I know what happened. I'm, that's, that's my fight here on the ground. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing right now, today, because now it's going too far. And honestly, you can say Imam Shafi said this and that, but then you look at the life of Imam Shafi, and you look at the differences, and you look at some of the scholars, and how they refute it, Imam Bukhari, and others, and others, and others, Imam Ahmed. There was refutations. There was. We're not them. I know you're going to say, but you're not them. I understand that. Okay, look, I'm getting... I understand. I apologize that sometimes I get hot. I apologize. But I was a kafir. I became Muslim uh, 18 years ago. I know what's on the other side of the fence. And when I became Muslim and started living in Muslim countries, working with curriculum, with schools, with children, with families, counseling, giving khutbahs, studying. I graduated also from Islamic University. I graduated from secular university from more than one. If you want to list all the credentials in this and that. But I'm not considering myself a scholar. Okay? The scholars have already talked about some of these main issues about between themselves, about calling out the scholars on different issues on these, uh, you know, the platforms, the people are online and so on. I'm talking about here social issues, certain issues. The rest are linked to the fiqh because they are part of the social issues and they're part of the war that we are fighting right now. So it's easy to dismiss the whole, like, you know, refutation culture. Who came up? Is, is this a scholarly term that's been, or something that's been claimed? You know, in psychology, you make labels to dismiss something very easily, to, to simplify something. Conspiracy theory, dismissed. Is a conspiracy theory, dismissed. Anything to do with COVID today, vaccines, this and that? No one will, no, is this, it's a conspiracy theory, dismissed. Uh, brother, you uh, why are you not uh, saying clearly that Islam forbids, uh, uh, you know, uh, homosexuality and this is uh, we're against it. That you yourself believe in Islam, you're against. Uh, is uh, is uh, you know this uh, uh, refutation culture? Who is who are you to refute me? Refutation culture. Where uh, explain to me this term? Where is it coming from? Refutation culture. Yes, Imam Shafi said. Yes, Ibn Taymiyyah. What the, and others? What they've said about Ibn Taymiyyah when he got into refuting people. But Sheikh al-Islam to me was, was an expert in refuting people. Imam Abu Hanifa was challenging and debating. Musa alayhi salam was refuting Pharaoh. You say, oh my God, are you calling us Pharaoh? No, no, no. No, I'm talking about the concept. Okay? Aisha and Ali had a fight because they thought they were on the haqq. Okay, it was a big battle. And, 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 and. Yes, I agree. We have to have manners. I, sometimes I get hot, but the reality is that Understand where I'm coming from, parents specifically. If these imams and these famous sheikhs, mashallah, don't want to understand, 
and they don't want to come up and start talking about some of these issues because I know I've spoke to some of them face to face and they said, look, our jobs are in danger. My job is, is finishing. I've received, as I said before, I know some of you have sent like, it's okay, brother, may Allah bless you. Don't worry, I have my qualifications, I have my stuff, don't worry, I'm okay, I'm cool. I know that, you know, you get, you get pulled in, you get this, you get that, you get uh, removed, you know, uh, from the board. I understand that. But so what? Is that what we're all about now? And again, disclaimer, I'm not calling for anyone to hurt anyone, anyone to, did I swear at anyone? I don't care what the people are saying in the comments. I don't, you know, read most of the comments. What I care about is we're having a debate and discussion on masculinity because it's a big problem, because men are not men, okay? And that's what we're talking about. And Alhamdulillah, I'm happy. I'm extremely happy that it has reached, my objective was to engage this discussion by some of these famous sheikhs. And I've been saying for many times, guys, talk about real issues. You want to dismiss it? Okay. But some brothers have been now talking about it. Ali Dawa is, is, you know, made a statement and he's been posting things before. You like him or not, this or that. Inshallah, I leave that between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'm going to do my thing. You know, we, that's a different story. Uh, same with Mufti. And others are jumping in. Others are sending messages. Yes, man, we need to open this discussion. It's been too long now about women's rights, women's rights, wife rights, wife, wife, wife. So we have to kneel now to them. I'm not saying that we shouldn't love them and respect them. We love and respect our women. We protect them. We cherish that Allah has given them to us like Allah has given Hawa to Adam. That's nothing to do with toxic and abuse. And man, we'll we need to fix this. But you need to know that it bounced on the other side. And a lot of it has to do with this jokes and posts that are very weak and always putting men down and that men are supposed to be remotely, you know, remoted or, you know, controlled remotely by women, by their wives. That once you get married, it's over. That's it. Your masculinity is going down. You're not supposed to be the imam of your house. Make sure the woman, you keep her happy. You obey your wife. These kind of things are going around where men cannot stand up and be the imams of their house anymore in good, in kind, not in abuse. I've always been against abuse. I've released videos of, against abuse. I've talked about what it is in terms of discipline, what a man and this and that, and with his children, with his wife. I don't shy away from that. Quran is Quran, Sunnah, Sunnah. All right? Never messed around with it. I, I know that it's like illegal in the world. And so we're talking from an academic perspective. I've never encouraged people to, to beat their wives or their kids or to abuse. No. But don't distort the faith, the deen. Okay? Don't distort the deen. So this is what I have to say. I know people are getting upset that I am keep responding, but I'm happy that we are engaging in this discussion. This is a very important discussion. And I am happy that, you know, Mufti is talking and we are talking and we're going to get on a call. And I'm happy that Ali Dawa, okay, he responded, whatever. It's all good. No issues. And whoever else, Sheikh McCarthy and others, Sajid, it's okay. We need to talk about this issue. No one raised it up before. I've been talking about it for a very long time because I grew up like this. I this is how I was, and when I when I when I converted to Islam, I, I was like that. That was just my nature, and my family can can vouch for that. I've always been like this. It's not like I just you know had an awakening. I've always been like this. But then I realized that well, when I saw the Sahaba and I started reading the Sirah and the life of the Prophet I realized I was like, man, this is where is this? The, the non-Muslims are doing it, but where, where is, I'm coming from Islam, from out of Islam with this, but where, where, where is the Muslim doing it? Why are we not talking about masculinity? Why are we not talking about the gender roles that Allah has decreed? People don't even talk about that. I remember very well in my psychology class, family psychology, family psychology class, talking about gender roles. And man, at that time, the teachers had it. They, had, they knew exactly, but sadly with the propaganda, and people invest a lot of money in propaganda, in media, that has now been silent. If any researcher or teacher would dare to say now these things, even though there's proof for that and evidence ample, of course, they'll lose their, their grants. That's how they've done it. They've squeezed us till the corner by removing our finances, threatening our, what? our comfort level, our paycheck, our family, our freedom, this and that. That's do you not see what's happening even, especially now, 2020, 2021? Come on, guys. 
wake up. So I'm inviting all the social media sheikhs, may Allah bless and guide all of us, and all of us to talk about masculinity, to start posting those hadith, to start posting about themselves, doing things, mashallah. Uh, let's do some, you know, if you're posting this or that, sitting behind a desk, reading, alhamdulillah, you're saying the Prophet studied, he taught people, he did, okay, good. Let's start posting some masculine things. I challenge now, let me make this as a challenge to all the sheikhs online to please post something masculine. Talk about masculinity. Post you. Take a jog. Let's do it. Let's do a challenge on a jogging or 10 push-ups like I do with my Muslim Alpha Men Society or 20 push-ups or chin-ups or some boxing or wrestling or shooting arrows or riding a horse or going swimming. Okay, I challenge, you know, Yasser Qadi, Mufti Mang. I know Adi Dawa and these guys have been a bit active, okay? Any of that. I know Hamza is a boxer, mashallah. Like, there's, we have some proper people, man. Let's, let's show it more because our kids, my students, my boys, okay, thousands of them around the world are looking up to you. So I challenge you. Let's put it, hashtag challenge the online sheikh to do some physical activity and post it. Okay, post it and say, hey guys, we're reviving masculinity based on Quran Sunnah, not based on Jibreel's uh, uh, look or way or this. No, no, no. Not based on this one. Based on Quran Sunnah. Come up with the evidence. Give this hadith. Let's look at Shamar Tirmidhi. Let's look at the, uh, the evidences about the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi And let's do some of that and say, hey guys, let's revive this. Let's bring back masculinity. Let's teach our boys. I'm focusing on boys. And subhanAllah, you know, the women will, will follow, man. They will see, they will love it. Okay? So let's do it. Even mothers can teach the boys, can show the boys. Even if you're single, it's okay. Give them the example. That's why the sheikhs are online with millions of followers. Let's do it. I challenge, you know, Sheikh uh, Tawfiq, Muhammad Sharif, anyone who's got a big following. I don't even know. Maybe you guys can tag everyone. I challenge you. Let's post uh, you jogging or you doing some push ups. Even if it's locked down, right? do some sit ups, do some push ups. Let's go. Uh, do some shadow boxing, okay? You're not hitting the face on your shadow boxing. Uh, skipping a rope, something, uh, shooting an arrow, sh something, something from the life of the Prophet Sallallahu like that. We talked about the softness. Yes, I agree. This mending the shoes and sewing and cooking, cleaning sometimes, okay? Hey, it happened. Okay, cool. No issues. We've, we've seen those videos over and over and over again, making paratas and this and that. Alhamdulillah, barakallahu feekum for being good husbands. Okay? But now show us some strength. We've seen the softness. It is part of the sunnah, rifq, and you know, all kinds of things. Yes. Let's look now at the, let's give us some strength. We want some strength. We, the ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the youth, the children, the boys, demand to see some strength from you. Please. Mufti Mank, he posted, Alhamdulillah, he's jumping from an airplane, man. He's skydiving. Oof, I was like, you know what, man? Bismillah. All right. Cool. We're getting somewhere. Okay? I'm not saying every video now is going to be all punching and boxing and this. I'm, I'm targeting a specific thing. I'm doing that anyway. Okay, For you guys though, who got millions of followers, let's, let's, talk, let's talk about masculinity. Bring it up. Bring it up, please. Okay, Post something. I challenge you. I challenge all the names that I said. You can tag other one. Sheikh Sajid Omar, uh, anyone else who's out there, mashallah, who's doing uh, da'wah. I challenge you to post something masculine. Okay? Post you on a punching bag, anything on a bike, uh, running, uh, sprinting, jumping, burpees, whatever. And I can show you on my group. And this is not now. It's not made today. Okay, I've been doing this for years, challenges and uh, videos and so on about activities and so on, challenging the brothers. Alhamdulillah. You can also join my uh, Muslim Alpha Men Society if you want on Telegram. Whatever it doesn't matter. But I challenge the brothers. Okay, the sheikhs online who got millions of followers, post something. Okay. Barakallahu feekum. May Allah bless all of you and guide all of us. Ameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa